Moin! Welcome back to another game of Legion Tower Defense. And I'm in a team with Killershan, Clem, Swin and Face. And we are up against Earthy, Honey Badger, Next Level, RNG and Parasailin. And I have yeah, Watcher Roll with some decent mid-game potential, some early game support. So yeah, I'm quite happy with my role. I will place three Watchers and see what else we have. We have a Disciple lane with good adds for early, so that's a nice role as well. Here we have a Ghoul role with not so nice um, other stuff, but yeah, if he doesn't die on one, it's fine. And another Disciple, so we should go Warriors. We all are on a 3 0 start. We have three lanes good against Warriors and one which is bad, which would benefit from King Lee's on the other other side in case they come, so yeah. We want to send warriors here and potentially resend on two or three. Enlighten me. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, with what other placement is pretty trivial. You want them in a line because they um, don't really move because they attack. Sometimes the middle one runs a bit in front and gets focused first, but not much you can do against it. Um, only potential thing is to place it one space back, so you have it here, uh, but then the first one can get focused, so yeah. Just an enormous line, like many other units, this one works well. As you can see, they still stay in line and the aggro focus is quite uh, the same. They all get the same aggro, but imagine like two warriors on the middle one, then that one would die faster. I can go a wisp here. Possibly they don't like it. Or they like it, <laughs> depending on what you look at. Alright, so four leaks. Here we have 14 damage. I'm quite sure what does that damage. This is normal splash. And the sends are damaged as well. And there's a no mid. That's good for us. 35 to king. That's a lot of time and quite some gold. Oh, and we have a little rabbit in the in the chat. Very sweet. Somehow I really like the aesthetics of Warcraft 3. This is a model of the king. Uh, I really like it. I've been playing Warcraft 3 in different uh, modes and different maps and stuff uh, for my whole life. And I always really like uh, the different units. And what I really like about it is that you can distinguish the units very easily. In other games I often have problems with deciding okay, which units are which and what's the tiny differences and in Warcraft 3 there's like very limited uh, amount of units which look alike. Some just have a different color palette but uh, overall units are usually very distinguishable which I like very much. Okay, um, rather the yeah. The reason is um, I am quite bad on 3 um, orange is quite bad on three as well, and the disciples, okay, they are fine. Um, but if they, if we send two and they don't, and they resend on three, uh, we get, we, we could, could really get hurt a lot. So better make two quick, um, lower the size of the send for three, and uh, be fine there. Second goal for Clum, um, something which I always try to avoid but which sometimes can't really be avoided um, in this role, yeah. For other possibility would have been to get the Acolyte upgraded to Revenant, but he could have just upgraded one, then he would have been left over with uh, 77 gold, which either would have been an unupgraded ghoul as well, or like three Acolytes, and neither of those options are really good. Okay, they come, so that's good for him. He will have two one-shotters here. Um, yeah, that's fine for him. I should do decent here. I'm not expecting to be mid, but okay, the first watcher already died since the butthole hits like a truck, of course. 
but um, I'm not dead here. Fend on two is always kind of fine uh, onto the watch. So I can't push sadly because I really need to build. He did okay. He's doing very fine, so we don't really need king. What would you ask of me? I would just burn. I think one attack is fine here. There are many damage creeps. The first two blood ox are very early. And this blood ox is damaged as well, so I think we should be fine here. Of course, I can be mistaken, but if we want to send three, we have to take the risk here, in my opinion. Let's see if it's enough. It's gonna be close here. If I uh, manage to hit them properly, possibly it's one heal or no heal just. I think we are fine. Looking like that. Yes, very nice. Even though I did some troll KC. Yeah, very fine here. Okay, we want to send spirits. Yeah, that sounds good. This lumberjack potentially not worth it for the send on two, but of course worth it for the later levels. So, yeah, can do it. Not the best, but still a valid decision to do it. And I will keep on building this line. Um, I really like it. Job's done. Job's done. Someone call for the doctor. Yeah. He can still does a send. I, I think it's 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 an okay choice. It's uh debatable. But yeah, we called it very early, so uh yeah. Let's see how it goes. Um our send is eight hundred twenty, so that's uh I don't know, eight hundred and twenty. There's one hermit in there. So that's... I got a set, I got a hermit here. Uh, he got a hermit, but he should be very fine. He got a hermit and a bowman, should be fine as well. And here we have the two ghouls, which are not that fine, but uh, overall should be decent. Yeah, I'm clearing well enough again. Uh, I don't need to build for four. So, yeah, overall their recent uh, was fine for us. We will have two, three disciples mid, so they're gonna eat everything. And they are leaking 19. We will get a scout here. Of course, with our push and our push potential, a leak here is um, very nice for us. Okay, so they have Pyro and Ice Troll, which uh, honestly is not the best unit overall. Pyro is really not playable, um, in my opinion. And uh, Ice Troll has its weaknesses as well. And the amount of damage we put out by the spirits should be a heal deal if they don't um, king. And they don't, so it's gonna be minus one. That's very nice for us. Nice. Good to see. Both our disciple lanes for pushing. Very nice. So we are three times six one, or four times six one on round three. Yeah, that's. That's what you can call a good push. I assume that they don't have that much of a push. Um, they did send like Blood Orc plus a small add on two and managed to get a Hermit. So they sent like 340 each. Yeah, it's about our cent, I would say. No one should be the wise. <laughs> Any chance I read my No. No way. It has begun. And if even if I reach uh, Magna, it's not really worth to combine it with Watcher, More gold. since Watchers are um, splash units and Magna is one shot. So I would rather have a uh, Polar and some extra Watchers. Why? I would just push. Go for freehold five. Uh, uh, I am I think the benefit of of not pushing three times, or th yeah, 
something similar to three times. Um, okay, so we are not sending five. Apparently we are not. We could have sent here, to be honest, but um, now we wasted wood. We should just go king here and get our Research income complete. and just uh, send them, uh, send into them on seven. With our push, I think we should do fine there, and the early income we get here is good. So, king okay, on. Don't show now, just go on fog. Um, I hope that I reach 140 with some kills here in the middle, so I will reach, uh, I will need my uh, income. And I reached easily. Uh, did four ups here, didn't even need them. But I got my Violet, which is very important. I'm a bit undervalued, by, but I'm 7-2, and I hope to get 7-3 on the wave. And add something like a Polar for three, uh, for six, depending on the King Gold I will reach. But we will see. Okay, so. Uh, I will uh, quickly show the abilities of the units. So Proton has no ability but can be upgraded into an Adept. It's a slow shooting, low range chaos damage unit with high damage output. Exec will proc and take no damage at a certain point. can be upgraded into Sky Dragon which does double damage against uh, air units. Watcher and Violet I've just shown here. Magnator and Polar Bear. Polar Bear and Magnator have uh, an ability which slows down surrounded units, and I don't reach the end. Uh, reach the push is very sad. And the zombie is a s slow attacking melee unit. Yeah, some HP we need. Uh, can be upgraded to Magnator, which is which is very hard hitting. So zombie and Butcher are. Slow heavy hitters as well. And then I have a uh, Sea Giant with a melee, big melee unit with no ability but can be upgraded into um, a Hydra, which is a ranged magic damage dealer and tank uh, which has triple shot sometimes so it will deal damage to three units at the same time. And I will uh, manage here not burn the heal, but to um, get some time, since we are high push here. So I don't kill always on my but just some. This sounds good. We want the time here, we want uh, to not heal, uh, and we have the region and HP and attack and the king already, so we can really uh, hit them on. I, bid you. That's a given. I will get the polar here, even though I don't think that it matters much if they come. But um, if they don't come, I will be able to catch some leaks, probably of um, Orange, who is decent with the ghouls, but they didn't get too much feed because he died on mm, on two and three again. Or was he mid on two? Well, it doesn't really matter. Two ghouls are strong on six, but I don't think they are fed too much. This lane is good here, should be mid. Enlighten me. Yeah, let's just see. I don't think that they come six, it would be total... Uh, they would die on seven, then use like three heals to any uh, ability, so I doubt I that they're gonna come six. I don't think that they have much push. Okay, and I have been proven wrong, but there are no Y ones, at least not on my lane. No Y ones here, no Y ones here. We should just send. Maybe we could decide to get some HP depending on the amount of leaks, but I think we should be fine here. 
I got my pushes, which is nice. Um, he got a 7-4, which is very nice as well. I did clear well. Yeah, this overbuild didn't really pay off, in my opinion. Research okay. complete. Sounds like a plan. attack um, it should be maximum one here yeah, I don't think that there are gonna be any more which is very nice for us of course only question is if I can manage to uh, save some um, mana I kinda doubt but, but I will uh, be on the lookout for that of course So no one here, one here here, that's very fine and our send gonna be huge. So I think their low send here did make us leak, but in the end I think it hurt them more than it uh, helped them. Question is if I get the Magnator here, do I reach um, Do I reach a push? Do I even want to push? I don't think that I want to push. I think I just want to stay and be strong on 10. Maybe I have to go for a zombie here to be strong on 10. So get, I get the Butcher here and maybe get the Hydra on 8. Oh my yeah, maybe I can't afford the Magnator even though it would be better here. Job done. Send is good. So we just go back to King. We can just go region as fast as possible to get the king up, but I don't think that we need that much. Okay, this could have been two spirits. Um, and we should have at least sent four here, but yeah, not the biggest problem overall, I guess. He's mid. He's clearing very well. I did my damage and he did not damage anything. He should push 7-5 um, as soon as he reaches it. His lane is uh, not gonna do anything or very much on um, 8. So he's even losing more value there and even if he full builds I don't think that it's gonna go too well. Yeah, this should be no here, at least I hope. No, that's no here. Maybe it's a here, gonna be close. Okay, it's no here. Very nice. So we two times, uh, or three times, managed to get it close to a heal, but uh, managed to avoid it. So we have big king already. Just one heal lost. Uh, they are losing their third heal, potentially their fourth one, or even die here. So yeah, this went very well for us. I don't think that they die, no, they won't. Uh, the GG call up play is a bit premature, but um, overall, this exchange between 5 and 7, the rounds 5, 6, 7, went very well for us. Even though we leaked earlier, they leaked on the more important level. And I think we pushed uh, earlier and they expected a recent at some point as well. 
I will not push here. So, oh, well, <laughs> I, I honestly did not expect this, uh, but uh, here you go. Uh, we miscounted big time, it seems. Uh, GG. Thanks for watching. And um, yeah, even though we didn't win on 10, uh, we won here. I think 10 would have been uh, GG as well. So thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.